Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be predicting the scores of week 30 of this, the 2018-2019 in Premier League season. But as always, we do this every week. Let's have a quick look back at how well we did on it. Or how badly. Or how badly we did back in week 29. So Nathan? I had four points. Dreadful once again. Um, and no perfect results. So that puts me on 197. And myself, I have seven points for the week and one perfect score which was the 2-1 Watford victory over Leicester. As you said, you've got now, Nathan, 197 points for the season, and I've got 219 points. Looking in the comments section, um, I think it was averaging around about 10 points at best there, but we did have one person who actually scored a magnificent 16 points, and that was Danny Morlong. And I think Danny's um, actually had the, been one of the top scorers as well in the past. For those of you who are playing along in the Fantasy Football League, here is the top 10. And once again, top of the shop is Sorry Not Sorry, managed by Jason Wade. Last week, uh, Jason had 50 points, which gives him a grand total of 1,789 points for the season. Top scorer in the, uh, the fantasy football for last week, however, with 70 points, which wasn't a massive score um, in, in our league anyway, was Big Bang Attack. <laughs> And they had, as I just mentioned, 70 points, which puts them on 1,660 points overall. Nathan, you came away last week with 48 points. I think you're in 48th position now in our league, which puts you on 1,573 points overall. Myself, I had 43 points last week, which was five less than you. I'm in 34th position, um, which gives me an overall total of 1,617 points overall. So... There's a bit of improvement in the predictions and the fantasy football from both of us, uh, um, I think, this week I'd like to see. But enough of last week, let's just crack on and make some predictions. Okay, so first up we have the M20 derby, I think it's called, between Crystal Palace and Brighton. Now, Brighton starting to decline. They did win, however, last time around against Huddersfield, yeah. I believe. But it's Huddersfield, everyone beats them. Uh, Palace doing well. Apart from Kate, Wolves, of course. Uh, apart from Wolves, of course, but they never beat Wolves anyway. Or they always seem to beat Wolves anyway. But anyway, uh, Palace, KG form, as usual, which is sort of expected for a mid table team. Um, I think this is going to be Palace's game. They need to get back to winning. Well, 3 1 against Burnley. They're definitely going to beat pa uh, Brighton then. Uh, so I'm going to say 2-0 easy victory to Palace. Mm, well, Brighton going to be well up for this match. They did carve out that narrow 1-0 victory against Huddersfield last weekend. I think it was a late goal. I'm, I'm not too sure when, when they actually scored that goal. Um, but Brighton have lost 71% of um, their away fixtures this season. So that's a really high percentage. And they've conceded two more goals in their last five away fixtures as well. So um, it's not looking good um, stats-wise there for Brighton. Um, and for that reason, I'm going to go for um, a win to Crystal Palace as well. Palace, okay, they haven't been uh, magnificent at home this season. They've, I think they've, they've actually got more points on the road than they have at, at home this season. They did carve out that 3-1 victory against Brighton last weekend. Uh, Zaha as yeah. well, I think he notched um, as well. So I'm going to go for a 2-1 victory to Palace in this fixture. Next up, we've got Cardiff City against West Ham. Cardiff having a, a torrid start. time at the moment, losing last three matches last weekend. Thought we were going to get some again against Wolves, but uh, it was a bit of a disaster from the start. Yes, it's a disaster. Okay, second half didn't concede. Bruno um, Manga came on for Bamba, who's out now for the rest of the season with um, ACL, yeah, ACL ligament injury. damage Absolute uh, disaster of his is. knee. So. It looks like it's going to be Morrison and Manga at centre-halves or centre of defence for the rest of the season. West Ham carving out a, a very good week win last weekend um, against Newcastle. Newcastle, as we touched on last yeah. weekend, don't travel that well when they go to London. West Ham find themselves in ninth position. I really want to see Cardiff win this one. They're going to have to make changes again. They've been chopping and changing Warnock, the team, and we really need to get back to a settled side. I think it's, it is going to be a little bit more settled in defence now. Camarasa, well, you know, he played in last week. He couldn't really carve out anything for his attacking players last weekend. It may be this weekend that um, 
They go back to one up front because it was uh, Zahor and Niasse up front. Maybe it'll just be Niasse on his own or maybe even Zahor with Bobby Reed just behind. But hopefully we'll see Harry Arta come back into the team. But because West Ham are so strong, I think they beat Cardiff earlier in the season 3-1 as well in the reserves fixture. It pains me to say, but I think the Hammers are going to come away with a narrow 2-1 victory in this one. Hopefully I'm wrong. Yeah, hopefully we're both wrong on this one. I've gone for a draw in this one, 1-1. One, one. Uh, mainly because, I don't know, it's hard to say with this one. Cardiff, well, Cardiff really need to we win We really one. need the points, and that's why I put it. Just as long as we can, ju as long as Warlock puts out the right team for this time in a few weeks, then... <laughs> well, all managers need to put out the right yeah, team. Yeah, well, then, then we have a chance of getting the points, but 1-1, one, one, I'm saying. Next up, we have Huddersfield v Bournemouth. Now, Huddersfield, they're pretty much down and out. They've got to start preparing for the championship. Bournemouth... Uh, drop down to 12th, I believe. Wait. Bournemouth dropped down to 12th. Haven't won in something like five matches, I believe, now. Uh, not on a good run, but that's going to end because they're playing Huddersfield, of course, and it's going to be a 2-1 away victory to Bournemouth. Interesting. Well, I'm going to um, go well against that one. Really? I know that Bournemouth have lost their last nine away matches. Huddersfield now got the freedom to play. They're pretty much down, you could say. Um, went away to um, Brighton last weekend a 1-0 narrow defeat and prior to that they, they beat what um, Wolves sorry at home so I think they're going to put up a good fight in this fixture I was thinking about putting a, a win for the Terriers in this one but I'm going to go for a 1-1 one, one draw I think Bournemouth have got real good quality there it depends now whether the players on the beach you know I don't think they're not going to get sucked into this relegation battle so yeah I'm going to go for a 1-1 one, one draw in this in this this, this match Next up, we've got Leicester against Fulham. We've got Brenda now in charge at the Foxes, um, taking charge of his first home game for Leicester City. Fulham, they've also parted company yes. recently with their managers, so it's the battle of the new managers. They're um, in charge of Fulham, of course, is Scott Parker. Looks like he's bringing in the, the likes of Session and Kearney as well, and that's only going to bode well for them. They, they played really well against uh, Chelsea, just narrowly losing. I think it was 2-1 in the end last week. Yeah, it was 2-1. But then again, Chelsea... On the against Chelsea. Way. Yeah, but they, they did carve out Chelsea. Yeah. I think they had a goal disallowed as well for them. So, away from home, though, their form isn't great. And I'm going to go... Because it's, it's Brenda's first match in charge there for the box. So I'm going for a 3-1 victory to Leicester City in this one. Yeah, plus you have to think as well that Leicester had a really tough challenge against Watford in his yeah, first match, a good match. Um, ex club as well. Uh, but I think this is the game that Leicester need to make a statement, um, or Brenda especially has to. Um, so I'm going to go for a 2 0 home victory to Leicester. Next up, we have Newcastle against Everton. Now, Newcastle, uh, they're doing okay. 14th position, getting, getting quite a few wins recently. Uh, Everton. Draw with Liverpool any on any day, that's fantastic, especially after the disastrous form they were in. Um, but I think Newcastle, at home at St James's Park, uh, they're just going to overpower the Toffees, and I can see this will be a 2-1 vict home victory to the Magpies. Yeah, after a dismal run of yeah. form, uh, it looks like Everton have put in a little bit of run together. I know they, they beat Cardiff, of course, at the, was it 3-0 in the yeah. end they won? Uh, drawing the Merseyside derby, but the derby matches are always hard to call. In this fixture, they're going to get, you know, I think confidence has probably come back into um, the Everton side there, but Newcastle, really hard nut to crack uh, at St. James's Park. This new guy that they, they bought in from the MLS as well, well Moron. Moron looks yeah. it's a very good uh, player as well. But I think Everton go in there full of confidence. I think they're going to carve out a 1-1 draw in this one. Newcastle, of course, very, very strong at home at the moment. And, of course, they've won their last four matches. But I think Toffee's going to put a stop to that 1-1 in this fixture. Next up, we've got Southampton against Spurs. Southampton now, they've only won one of their last yeah. six matches, even though they, t they seem to be playing a lot better than they have been. I think they went away to Old Trafford and narrowly lost against Manchester yeah. United. So... Um, they are at home. Spurs last night had a fantastic result in Dortmund yeah, as well, really winning 1 0. Really hard place. I think Dortmund, as we've touched on before, are very strong at home. Haven't lost apart from the Spurs match yeah. now um, at all season. Um, in this fixture, 
I think Spurs are going to be too strong for them. They're playing. Okay, they got, they, they played last night on Tuesday, coming back, and they should be bang up for it on Saturday. They, they want to need to keep in touch with with the top two, but I can't see them turn around that deficit of nine points though. So uh, Spurs are really going to want to win this match, especially now they're looking over their shoulders because they haven't won in the last three Premier League matches, losing two and drawing the other. So. I think they're going to be too strong for the Saints, and I'm going to go for a 2-0 victory to, so, uh, to Spurs in this well, one. Yeah, yeah, to Spurs in this one. Uh, yeah, I've gone for a 2-0 victory as well to Tottenham. I think they're just going to be too strong, and they need to start picking up the points because they haven't won in like four matches, I believe. And you have to remember as well, Pochettino uh, got a two-match ban on the touch lines mm. because of his comments at Mike Dean. Um, which, in my opinion, I thought were justified, especially with the standard. <laughs> yeah, but he has apologised. He has apologised, but so. it was it was needed after the yeah. standard of referees. Yeah, but season. you should have a bit more respect for refs. Anyway. You should, so, but yeah. I don't know. This is probably the worst season of referees oh, I terrible. have ever seen in my life. <laughs> Both well, pretty much for any matches. I thought it was bad enough for Cardiff, but mm. this has been shocking this season. But anyway, moving on to the half past five kickoffs, we have got Man City versus Watford. Now, Watford's doing really well, picking up really good victories recently, especially to sides such as uh, such as Leicester and Cardiff, like 5-1 to Cardiff. That was ridiculous when we mm. played them, but we were terrible on our day anyway. But um, coming up against a Man City side, and you have to remember that Watford lost 5-0, I believe, to Liverpool as well. Yeah. Um, so Man City, they're going to be up for it. They've won their last five matches on the trot, I believe, top of the table. Um, they're just going to win 3-0 I reckon 3-0 to the Sky Blues Yeah I agree Manchester City are going to win this match it's, But I think it's going to be a tougher match than you think yeah. I think it's going to be 2-0 in the end to the Citizens However Watford a very good team They've got the like, Well as we say Dini De La Feo They've got Decore All the, these good um, Atika Kapu as well in, in there Some fantastic players Strong team Manchester City playing a lot of matches as well, and um, I think they're in Champions League next yeah, week rather so. than this evening. Yeah, I think it's next week, so they're going to be having one eye on that match as well. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go for a, a victory to the Citizens, but I'm going for 2 0. Next up, we've got the first of the Sunday fixtures, and that's Liverpool against Burnley. Liverpool now just the one point, or they've lost their top spot yeah. to Manchester City. They're gonna have to win this match, I think. Liverpool have only won two of their last six fixtures, but they have four clean sheets as well on the trot. So it doesn't look like they're going to concede against Burnley. They're at home. They need to win. I think it's going to be a straightforward victory. They're not going to hammer Burnley because yeah. Burnley are defensively okay. Tom Heaton in goals as well. Brilliant keeper. And like, yeah, as I said, 2-0 to Liverpool in this one. Yeah, I've actually gone 3-0 to Liverpool at Anfield. Super strong. Uh, they really need to start picking up victories. I reckon they're going to have to win every single match that's remaining mm. this season in order for them to get win the Premier League. Because Man City, looking at their, especially their running, seems super easy. So yeah, but they've in, got a lot a way, of matches. They've yes. got FA Cup. They've got Champions League as well. Like Liverpool, I expect, but Liverpool be knocked out of the FA Cup are they? Or they um, still in, like, I think they're still in the FA Cup. So, so they've both got lots of matches yeah. to play, but uh, whoever can hold in it. And I think yeah. is Jesus out as well. That puts pressure on Aguero. Yeah, that so. does. Yeah, but uh, I'm going to say three 0 Liverpool to be honest on that one. Okay. Next up, we have Chelsea versus Wolves at the Bridge. Now, Chelsea starting to pick up form after they were just terrible for weeks and weeks. And with the keeper situation as well, I wonder if he's going to come back into the side very soon. Um, Wolves, well, for them, good win over Cardiff. Did a lot of rotating, to be fair to them. Put mm -hmm. ready in goals, quite surprised, like, surprised many people. Um, but I fancy Wolves' chances in this one. Really? And I think it's going to be 2-2 two -two draw yeah. to, uh, to, um, at the bridge. I think Wolves are going to be able to, well... Is it pretty much seems like they've sealed seventh spot and Europa League football next season. So I don't know. I just fancy Wolves' chances. I think it's going to be a draw. Two well, two. I think Watford have got a massive say in that. <laughs> they've yeah. won forty-three points at the moment, so it's pretty much the battle for mm, the Europa yeah. League spot there because Man City did win the Carabao, so it goes down to seventh That's place. Right, so yeah. um, for myself, and I think I think Chelsea are going to win this one. It's going to be a close match. Since that Carabao Cup thing with the likes of Kepa as well, they they have been picked 
picking up the, the, the wins now, although they were a little bit fortunate, I, you should say, against Fulham last time out. I'm going to go for a 2-1 win Interesting. to Chelsea in this fixture. Final fixture of the weekend is what many are arguing is the yes. big one of the weekend, which is Arsenal against Manchester United. Now, Arsenal, they've only lost once this season. That was on the opening uh, fixture for them at home, and that was well, against that was Manchester fantastic. City. So I don't think they're going to lose this fixture. Manchester United away this evening against um, PS PSG in, in Champions League action. I think Pogba won't, isn't playing this evening as well. I think he's been banned, so he's going to be fresh for the weekend. They do have their injury concerns, but the strength and depth of Manchester United, you know, they, they'll see them through. Brilliant. In this one, Arsenal strong at home. They've got the likes of Aubameyang, Lacazette, Ramsey, scored a fantastic goal last week. Um, I think it's going to yeah. I think it's going to end up as a one-one draw. I have gone exactly Jeff, the same as you. Have you? Exactly. By the way, we don't even look at our predictions before we do no. this. We just literally say them as they are now. But yeah, I just think it's going to be a close game. Uh, Man United, good squad. Arsenal, amazing at home. Of course, haven't lost at home since December. Fantastic. December? No, uh, back so in August, September something. or August. August. I'm sure it was August. Yeah, first day of the season, but. Yeah, it's going to be super close. I, I can only see a stalemate in this one because of Man United's extremely good form. So 1-1 one, one it is. Yeah, I'm just going to check on that. Yeah, it was 12th of August they lost against Man City. Okay, Nathan, before we go, is there anything else you'd like to add? Uh, just sub to my channel, link in description as usual. Yeah, as usual, guys. That concludes our predictions for yeah. uh, this week 30. Only not eight, eight more matches after eight this fixtures. one now. So, as usual, I'm going to leave a template of these fixtures in the description. All you need to do is copy and paste them into your comment and like Danny Molong. I think that's how you pronounce it, Danny. And um, you can get a shout out in the next video. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to the weekend. Come on, Cardiff. Hopefully, I'm wrong in my prediction. And yeah. Um, yeah, that's it for now, and we'll see you in the next video.